Hello fellow screwdrivers, this is part one of, a, of the Massive Bottle Rocket series, where I'll be making a bottle rocket just like this one. It will have a parachute and a launcher, and I'll explain how to do it in the, in the following videos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to splice the bottles and making the body of it. Okay, let's get started. For the rocket, I will be using these 2 litre bottles that you can just buy from the shops. First, you need to remove this um, black tab here. Then, cut along this seam line. Once you have roughly cut along the line, now get a pair of scissors and trim, trim it nicely. Fill a saucepan with about two and a half centimeters of water. Once your pan has reached about 75 degrees Celsius, get one of your bottles and dip it in for a couple of seconds. Now take it over and test fit it. The bottle should be a pretty snug fit. Now that your bottles have been heated and shrunken so then they can fit into each other, now you're going to get some sandpaper. I'm using a 100 grit sandpaper and you just um, start sanding the bottles. Just remember the outside of the inner bottle and the inside of the outer bottle and just do it for about 2 or 3 centimetres down the bottle. Once you have finished sanding both bottles, get a tissue or a paper towel and wipe off the excess. Now, to glue the two bottles together, I'm using Sikaflex 11FC multi-purpose adhesive to um, bond these two bottles together. Now. Uh, I've screwed the bottle on so it's nice and secure and just get some adhesive and wipe it on. Make sure you get a nice even coat of the glue. It, once you have evenly coated one bottle, or the inner bottle, get the outer bottle and slowly put it over it. Spin the bottle to make sure they're aligned evenly. If they are, get a tissue or a paper towel and wipe off the excess. Once you have moved the bottle to the side, get the patch and the sandpaper and just sand along it. To make the patches for the splice bottles, cut along the rim line here and then move across a few centimetres and cut that out so you end up with a ring. Once you have got your ring, cut a slit down like this.
so it becomes one long piece. Now put that to the side and get the um, top half of your bottle and cut out just a little square or a little rectangle. That's the same width as the little plastic um, cover. That's the patches done. Don't forget to sand the little patch. Like before, wipe off any excess plastic with a tissue or a paper towel. Then smear a bit of 11FC adhesive along the patch. Once you have finished smearing glue on the patch, bring the bottle back and run the patch over the, where the two bottles meet. Get some tape and tightly press the two, the patch together. Now get the little patch and put some glue on it and smear it on. Take off the tape. and replace it with the patch. Once you have finished that, get some tape and place it over the join. And now leave it for two days to dry. Okay, now that your glue has cured, take off the supporting tape And I'm using fiberglass strapping tape. It's basically just really strong tape to cover um, these parts because the um, join here is much stronger than the actual bottle. Under high pressures, these uh, this part of the bottle um, will start to expand and it could even break open. So that's why I'm using this tape to support it here. There's one side. And there's the other. So, now that you've got these taped up, get some more tape. And I'm just putting it along where the patch has um, ended. So along the sides of the patch. Okay, now that you've got um, your fiberglass strapping tape on, um, if you don't have any of this tape, you can just use regular duct tape or gaffer tape. doesn't really matter. It's just for extra support. Now, um, to clean it up a little and for extra strength, I'm just going to be using some gaffer tape just to cover the join. Okay, so that's done. The gluing of the bottles and just some supporting tape. Now I went ahead and made another one just um, because we're eventually going to join these two together using these tornado tubes. So if you don't know where to get them or you can't get them anywhere, um, I will show you how to make them in a, another video, these tornado tubes. So I've just cut out the fins from Core Flute. 
Um, you can use cardboard or foam board, but I prefer a core flute because it's a lot stronger and more durable. Um, if you're wondering, here are the measurements. Um, so I cut a little slit in here, in one fin, to fit a GoPro in, just like this. And then the fin would be up against the rocket, just like this. Um, and so the GoPro is facing down, so you can see the ground when the rocket goes up, and hopefully we can get some cool shots with it. Okay, now let's glue the fins to the main body. Now I'm going to glue the fins under the, um, the main rocket. Um, so what I like to do is first just get some hot glue and apply it onto the fin. Just like that. And then I just stick it on and press down. And then I look through the bottle to make sure that the fin is lined up evenly and straight. And then just wait till the glue dries. Now that the, the glue has dried on the fin, I just mix up a bit of epoxy. And I apply the epoxy just to the um, sides of the fins okay so now i've put some epoxy along the sides of the fins and now that that's dry you can just get some tape and put it along the edge of the fin like this rub it on get some scissors and slit the two ends so it doesn't crinkle up and then fold the tape over so it's a nice clean edge. Okay, now that that's got a nice clean edge, do it with the other two and then you'll be joining the two bottles together. So once the tape is on and the glue has cured, it's time to screw the bottles together. Now I'm using tornado tubes, but if you can't get them anywhere, I'll show you how to make them in a future video. So screw them under the bottle and tighten it up so no air or, leak or water leaks out. And then do the same to the other one. Nice and tight. Okay, once those are tightly together, um, I'm using a laminating sheet what with no paper inside now this one wasn't long enough so i just taped an extension on to it um yeah so they're just laminated laminating sheets with no paper inside you just wrap that around the bottle like so and then you get some tape And just put it around the bottle and do the same on the other side okay so now that that's taped up and these two bottles are joined I've just got a regular two liter bottle and I've wrapped some fiberglass um, strapping tape on around it so the bottle doesn't burst under high pressure and so it's just a regular bottle which I'm going to take another tornado tube and screw it onto the end of the these bottles here tightly and then I will join it the regular bottle onto the end of the, uh, the tornado tube nice and tightly so no water or air leaks out and now I've just got a regular laminating sheet and just putting it around now with the regular one 
um, it can't fit all the way around. So um, that's good because the shock cord for the parachute will be tie, tied around the bottlenecks. So it needs a bit of room for the shock cord to go in. So that's all good. And we can just wrap the tape around like so. Now, so that's the body and the fins done. Um, so, uh, in the next video, or part two, I'll be showing you how to make the launcher and the parachute for the rocket. Okay, see you then. Thanks for watching.